Oh shoot. This is a different one. Super busy. This is not even that really big of an iguana. And this is probably just a couple of the eggs that they laid. Uh, let's see, one. Let's count them out. One. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. Oh yeah. One iguana there, another one there. One right over here, look at this. Oh, I didn't even know there was a lake back over there. That makes sense. Silly iguanas. They're back out. Man, we're gonna have a serious issue with these guys digging holes. Look at this, there's, a hole. there's an iguana still in oh. there. Still in there. Oh. oh, calm down little doggy. Calm down little doggy. Oh, oh my gosh. Whoa. Good stuff, bro. That's wild right there, check that one out. Man, these iguanas, they are super tough. They can just dig right through all this debris. Not a single problem. Their sharp claws, those powerful tails and powerful muscles. Wow, what is this? Is this, a, this is a female right here. Oh man, it looks like it might have dropped some eggs. We're gonna keep trying to dig up in there, see if we can find it, hold on. Oh, I see one right there. Look at this. Oh, shoot. Oh, hold on. There's gotta be some more up in there. Oh, oh there is. is. Yep. yep. Is this, this hole is really shallow. Really shallow. Oh, yeah. Some on the rocks right here. Let's see. Another egg. Another. Okay, we found Ooh. them. We found them. Look at those. Look at those little eggs. Oh man. Is there any more? Yep. Some more coming out right here, dude. Oh. Look at that. She was busy, huh? Super busy. This is not even that really big of an iguana, and this is probably just a couple of the eggs that they laid. Uh let's see. One. Let's count them out. One, two. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen. So this is about half the clutch that she laid because we know iguana this size can have 30, 40 eggs. We're gonna continue digging to see if we can get the rest of them. Um, absolutely insane, guys. Basketball court road right here. Iguanas are out and they're dropping eggs into the soil. The soil is very rich, and especially under this mound right here, man, it would be a great incubator to get some eggs. Have some. Let's see. Uh. Oh, yeah, there's more. There's more. Ooh. Damn, those are deep in there. Yeah. The hole stops like right in here. That might be it. All right. That's just insane, guys. The hole dropped all those eggs. We caught it right in the nick of time. The other ones were planning to do the same. We'll cover this hole up with this asphalt. Hopefully these guys will not come back. But any, until then, we got this one. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put it in the bag. This one, look at this. Wow. Look at those colors. Really, really cool. Right inside here, digging the hole. 
silly, silly iguana. Oh shoot, oh, there it is. There it is, what are you doing, buddy? Can't be digging no holes. Now we caught you after giving you a warning. You are doing the same thing we told you not to. All right, so real quick, guys, I'm back out here. Just got up not too long ago. The sun is out. And as you guys can see, we're back in that parking lot where those iguanas were digging out by the electrical box. And as you guys can see right here, we do have some crows, I believe that's what these are. Uh, yep, yeah, those are ravens, or ravens, I'm sorry. Um, but anyways, there's a unique relationship that I want to talk to you about, about, you know, those birds and iguanas trying to dig holes. They are actually in this parking lot scouting waiting for iguanas to go in those holes so they can you know try to sneak up in there try to steal an egg or two and eat that so you know these iguanas they're 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 in the hole they're digging and then they pop up to look around make sure the coast is clear uh to you know so no animals try to steal the eggs you know like crows or other birds but uh the iguanas yep they're in there and they're like taking turns like looking uh after each other's back they're usually by themselves but certain times of the years or certain habitats and territories they will coexist with each other and uh grab some of those iguanas digging the holes um you know see if that works and then if it doesn't then we might slide back later with the air rifle so uh let's go ahead let's get ready let's go see if we can catch some of those digging iguanas I know everybody loves to see the air rifle hunts, which is great, but you know me, as a trapper, I have different strategies on trying to catch these guys. So today, I'm going to see if I can use this pole, and every iguana trapper should have a catch pole, uh, you know, first and foremost. If you don't have a catch pole, boy, you are missing out on some great hunting and an easy, efficient way how to catch iguanas you know because there'll be opportunities where those big ones or ones you're trying to catch will be right next to you and they don't run for a multitude of different reasons right they could be in shock they could be standing their ground they could be territorial or they could just be super defensive but with this pole right here it gives us about i don't know 15 feet of reach it's got a loop at the end so we're gonna ride up right to him and see if we can do this the old fashioned way. It's just a man in a Toyota Tacoma with a fishing pole with a loop at the end of it. Let's see if it works. There were some iguanas that went under those storage units. So maybe if we can see them, we can rot up on them with this pole because they were getting, letting us get within feet from them. And that's the other advantage because we would not probably be able to shoot over there. But let's go check out this hole and see if any more are there digging. Oh yeah, look, there's one leaving the nest right now. Oh, there's one in the nest. Hey, Mr. Iguana. We just got a couple of questions for you. Oh no. Oh, he came off. Oh no, he got the memo. Oh man. That one looks like it's deposited the eggs already. All right, we're gonna have to mark this tree. We'll come back out here with the air rifle. But yeah, when they're super light, that's the downside with the pole is if they're super small, like weigh about a pound or two, they're really hard to, to get the snare to set on them. Just cause there's really not that much weight. But hold on, I did see another big one. So we're just gonna ride around here. And like I said, that, that iguana had laid its eggs and it was still inside the nest. Or it looks skinny. So he'll be back. They always do come back here. It's like they marked that spot on their GPS. But let's go to the other side and see. 
any of those bigger iguanas around. Right by the porta potty, right over there. Oh, he's just, he's just grilling. You just pull up, and there's just a massive iguana just sunbathing, with his mouth gaping open. We got a couple of questions for that iguana. Let's see if we can read him his rights. Oh, shoot. Oh. He went behind the porta potty. Behind a porta potty. I see him. You're gonna tell me that little bugger went underneath it. I thought I saw his tail. Huh? Oh, well, I guess there's only one way to find out where he's at. So we heard of iguanas going in toilets under a porta potty. That's the first one for me, even. Yeah, there he is right there. Keeps popping in back and forth in the porta potty. See, they put a glue trap here. Glue trap. All right, if we go on that side, we can grab his tail. All right, guys, what I'm about to do, do not try at home. Oh shoot, there's another one in here. Oh shoot. This is a different one. This is a different one. Holy smokes. Right out the porta potty. There goes one. Oh shoot, there goes the other one. No! I didn't see you there for a second, bud. Now guys, just a quick disclaimer. Guys, just a quick disclaimer. Iguanas can lose their tails, drop their tails, and regrow them. That iguana straight up just dropped his tail. If I would've known that, I would've tried to grab back legs a lot quicker. I didn't want to get bit by him. He did run under, underneath that storage unit. So let's bag this guy. Let's go see if we can go after the other. I'll give you guys a little backstory about this building. So it's actually um, like a hall. And it's been here for a while. 
So they're redoing it. And construction workers were telling me about this spot, how the iguanas were out here nesting. So lo and behold, here we are. They're trying to catch them. We don't know if they're digging actually in this foundation area right here. I'd hope not, but geez, you just you really can't even tell these days what's going on. Now there's a pond over there. If they were to just stay there, um, you know, it would be good, but they are coming really close to the building and trying to like nest on it, which, you know, raises a lot of questions. We're trying to find some answers right now. Let's go see if we can see them. I hear him. Okay, we need to scare him out of here. Damn, bro, I would have had two. That sucks. We'll have to come back later because he's gone but we do know what that iguana looks like he's missing the tail so i had him i had him that's completely my fault usually you know they haven't been dropping their tail so that one obviously didn't realize he was you know that close to being bagged so i hear him in there he'll come back out give it like five or ten minutes once the coast is clear We'll be back as well. We'll keep patrolling this area. Let you know what else I catch.